आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स सो लास्ट वीडियो डिस्कस अबाउट दी इंटर रिलेशन बिटवीन द डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स सो सच एज जेट पैरामीटर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ वाई एंड ए बी सी डी पैरामीटर्स एंड एच पैरामीटर्स एज वेल एज वही पैरामीटर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेट पैरामीटर्स ए बी सी डी पैरामीटर्स एंड एच पैरामीटर्स एंड ऑल्सो ए बी सी डी पैरामीटर्स यू कैन डेराइव इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेट पैरामीटर्स वही पैरामीटर्स एंड एच पैरामीटर्स नाउ कमिंग टू दी एच पैरामीटर्स नाउ एच पैरामीटर्स मस्ट बी डेराइव इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेट पैरामीटर्स वही पैरामीटर्स एंड ए बी सी डी पैरामीटर्स एज यू डिस्कस इट नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाट इज मेन बाई इंटर रिलेशन बिटवीन टू पैरामीटर्स इज नथिंग बट यू हेव टू डेराइव दि standard h parameters in terms of standard z parameters that means to know the definition of h parameters so input voltage and output current must be expressed in top in terms of input current output voltages so that is nothing but v1 is equal to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 term as equation 1 I2 equal to H21 I1 plus H22 V2 term as equation 2. Now coming to the definition of Z parameters, the input voltages, input voltage, output voltage. That is nothing but voltage parameters must be expressed in terms of so current parameters. That is input current, output current. So V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2, termed as equation three, and V2 equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 V2, taken as equation four. Now from these four fundamental equations, now we have to derive the interrelation between H parameters and Z parameters. Now taken as from equation four, Z Z22 V2 equal to Z22 I2 equal to V2 minus Z21 I1. From that I2 equal to 1 by Z22 V2 minus Z21 by Z22 I1. Now this term current I1 taken as first term. That's why you have to rearrange this equation. I2 equal to minus Z21 by Z22 I1 plus 1 by Z22 V2 taken as equation five. Now substitute equation three in equation in equation five. Substitute equation five in equation three. So equation three is V one is equal to Z one one I one plus Z one two I two, and we know that I two equal to minus Z two one by Z two two I one plus one by Z two two V two, and we can rearrange all these things. So take it as LCM. Z two two take it as LCM. That is Z11, Z22 minus Z12, Z21 divided by Z22. Here Z11, Z22 minus Z12, Z21 taken as delta H. So delta Z by Z22 I1 plus 1 by Z22 V2 taken as equation six. Now compare equation one and six, two and five. Therefore. H para H uh, hybrid parameters must be expressed in terms of Z parameters. So H11 equal to delta Z by Z22. H12 equal to Z12 by Z22. H1 21 is equal to minus Z21 by Z22 and H22 equal to 1 by Z22. So you can clearly observe this, these two parameters. H12 Z12 by Z22. H21 minus Z21 by Z22. That is nothing but H12 H21. Both are reciprocal to each other. That's why so circuit is a reciprocal circuit is nothing but H12 equal to minus H21. So that is the condition for reciprocity. So already discussed in the previous videos. So now go for the another interrelation. That is nothing but H parameters in terms of Y parameters, 
as we know that as usual the definition of h parameter c is the input voltage and output current must be expressed in terms of input current output voltages taken as equation 1 and 2 from the top of the equation so now from the definition of y parameters the input output currents must be expressed in terms of input output voltages so that is nothing but i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 taken as equation 3 i2 equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 taken as equation 4 so from this equation i mean equation 3 so y11 v1 is equal to i1 minus y12 v2 and we know the We require these two parameters. That's why directly put in the equation. That is, V1 is equal to 1 by Y11 I1 minus Y1 Y12 by Y11 V2. That is, equation five. Take that equation five. Now, substitute this equation five into equation four. We are getting I2 is equal to Y21. V1 is nothing but 1 by Y11 I1 minus Y11 Y12 V2 plus Y22 V2. So I2 equal to y21 by y11 i1 plus delta y by y11 v2. Delta y is nothing but y11 y22 minus y12 y21. Now compare equation two and six. So one and five. So that's why h11 is equal to one by y11. H12 is equal to minus y12 by y11. H21 is equal to y21 by y11. And h22 is put to delta y by y11. Here also we can observe these two parameters h12, h21. Both are reciprocal to each other. That's why h11, h12 equal to minus h21, such that the given network is a reciprocal network. Now coming to the so remaining relation that is h parameters in terms of a, b, c, d parameters. As we know that the definition of the h parameters is nothing but input voltage and output current must be expressed in terms of input current and output voltages taken as equation 1 and 2. So V1 is equal to h11 I1 plus V1 h12 V2. I2 equal to h21 V I1 plus h22 V2 taken as 1 and 2. So now from the A B C D definition of A B C D parameters that is so input voltage and output current. So input voltage and input current must be expressed in terms of so output voltage and output current that is V1 is equal to AV2 minus VI2, I1 is equal to CV2 minus DI2. Take as equation three and four. Now from the equation four, from equation four minus DI2 equal to I1 minus CI2. So DI2 equal to CI CV2 minus I1. I2 equal to C by DV2 minus one by DI1. Take as equation five. Now substitute this equation five into equation three. V1 is equal to A V2 minus B. I2 is nothing but C by D V2 minus one by D I1. So I'm rearrange this thing. V1 is equal to B by D I1 plus A D minus B C by D V2. Take as equation six. Now compare six and one and two and five. So A is equal to B by D. B is equal to A D minus B C by D. C equal to minus one by D. D equal to C by D. So, so now to go for the problematic uh, that is nothing but inter interrelation between the different two, two port network parameters. That is, so uh, the given one given a uh, electrical circuit that is two port network determine the Z parameters, Y parameters. H parameters and A B C D parameters of the given electrical circuit. First of all, to know about the two port network, for the given network, we have to assign a two ports. That is one one dash on input port side and two two dash on output port side. So, so we have to assign one one dash and two two dash and also input current I one. Output current I2. Now apply KVL for loop one and also apply KVL for loop two. So apply KVL for loop one. That is V1 is equal to 10 I1 plus 5 I1 plus I2. So fit 5 ohm branch is so related to both loops. That's why 5 into I1 plus I2. 
So V1 is equal to 10 I1 plus 5 I1 plus I2, that is 15 I1 plus 5 I2. Turn as equation 1. And also apply KVA for loop 2, that is V2 equal to 20 I2 plus 5 I1 plus I2. So that's why we have to rearrange that equation. V2 is equal to 5 I1 plus 25 I2. Turn as equation 2. Now, from these two equations, we have to derive the Z, Y, A, B, C, D and H parameters individually. First of all, Z parameters. We know that Z parameters from the definition of Z parameters. So, input parameters that is input voltage and input current must be expressed in terms of so output, output current and input current. So, that is nothing but V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. V2 equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. That is nothing but to find out individual Z parameters. So, to, to open circuit the individual ports, that is, first of all, open circuit the port 22 dash to find out two Z parameters, and also open circuit the uh, input port 11 dash and also determine another two Z, Z parameters. So, first of all, when 2 2 dash is open circuited, that is I2 equal to 0, substitute this I2 equal to 0 in equation 1 and equation 2 respectively for getting, you are getting two parameters. From equation 1, V1 is equal to 15 I1, therefore V1 by I1 is nothing but Z11. So, input impedance 15 ohms. So, remaining one, from equation 2, V2 is equal to 5 I1. So, V2 by I1 equal to Z21. So, that is, this is the transfer impedance at port 22 dash. So, that is Z21 is equal to 5 ohms. Similarly, so input port is open circuited, that is 1, 1 dash is open circuited. That means current flowing to the input I1 equal to 0, put I1 equal to 0 in equation 1 and 2. So that is nothing but from equation 1, V1 is equal to 15 I1, so 0 plus 5 I2 and V2 is equal to 0 plus 25 I2. From that, so V1 by I2, Z12, 5 ohms. V2 by I2, Z22, that is 25 ohms. Now totally Z parameters equal to Z11, Z12, Z21, Z22. That means we have to represent in a matrix form. So 15, 5, 5, 25 ohms. So we can observe this Z impedance matrix. Z11, Z21, Z21, both are same. 1, 2, 2, 1, both are same. That is nothing but given network is a reciprocal network. And 1, 1, not equal to 2, 2. Z1, 1, not equal to Z2, 2, 2. 15, not equal to 25. That's why it is not a symmetric network. So given network is not a symmetric and it is a reciprocal network. Now go for the Y parameters. So from the equation 1 and 2. So generally Y parameters is nothing but you have to start circuited. To short circuit the port 1 and 2 individually such that to find out the individual Y parameters. So port 2 to dash is short circuit that is V2 is 0 put, V2 is 0 in equation 1 and 2. We are getting I1 is equal to minus 5 by 2 or I2 equal to minus 1 by, by I, I1. Now substitute I1 and I2 values. So separately in equation 1. So put I1 value, I2 value in equation 1. We are getting y11, 1 by 14 more. And put I2 value in equation 1, we are getting y21 equal to minus 1 by 70 more. Similarly, when port 11 dash is starts circulated, that is v1 is equal to 0, that v1 equal to 0 value is substituted in equation 1 and 2, we are getting i1 is equal to minus 1 by 3 i2, or i2 equal to minus 3 i1. Substitute I1 value one time and I2 value one time in equation 2, we are getting remaining two individual Y parameters. That is, substitute I1 is equal to I2 equal to in equation 2, we are getting Y12 equal to minus 1 by 70 more. And put I1 value in e equation 2, we are getting Y22 equal to 3 by 70 more. Now, totally Y parameters. Represented in a matrix form, y is equal to y11, y12, y21, y22 equal to 1 by 14, minus 1 by 70, minus 1 by 70, 3 by 70, more. So you can look at the y matrix, source output, or impedance matrix, sorry, source output, 
our repeated matrix y1 2 equal to y21 such that given matrix is a given net electrical network is a reciprocal network and y11 is not equal to y22 that's why given network is not a symmetric network now go for the another parameter that is h parameter h parameter is nothing but so port 22 dash is short circuited and port 11 dash is open circuited then port 22 dash is short circuited is nothing but v2 is 0 substitute this v2 is 0 in this equation 1 and 2 so we are getting relation i1 is equal to minus 5i2 i2 equal to minus 1 by 5 i1 so you know that i2 by i1 i2 by i1 equal to minus 1 by 5 that is nothing but h21 so next from request 1 so v1 is equal to 15 i1 plus 5 in place of i2 put minus 1 by 5 i1 that is 14 i1 v1 by i1 that is h11 equal to 14 ohm Similarly, when port 11 dash is open circuited, that is I1 equal to 0, from equation 2, V1 is equal to 5 I1 and V2 is equal to 25 I2. So from this, I2 by V2 equal to H22, 1 by 25 more. And V1 is equal to 5, in place of I1, substitute this value, V2 by, V2 by 25. So that is 5 fives, that is V1 is equal to 1 by 5 V2. Therefore, V1 by V2, that is H12 equal to 1 by 5. So, represent all these four parameters in a matrix form. H is equal to, H parameters equal to H11, H12, H21, H22 equal to 14, 1 by 5, minus 1 by 5, 1 by 25. Now, observe this H parameter, hybrid parameter matrix. H12 equal to minus H21 and H11, H22 minus H21, H22 is not equal to 1. That's why it is, a, it is not a symmetric network, it is a reciprocity network. Now last one, ABC parameters. So to find out ABC parameters, port 22 dash is open circuited and the port 22 dash is short circuited. And that is nothing but output port once open circuited, one time short circuited. Suppose it is open circuited, I2 is 0 substitute. Equation 1, V1 is equal to 15 I1, V1 is equal to 15. So and also from equation 2, V2 equal to 5 I1. So substitute in place of I1, V2 by 5. So V1 is equal to 3 by 2, 3 V2. V1 by V2 is equal to, that is nothing but A equal to 3. And from this second equation, I1 by V2 is equal to C, that is equal to 1 by 5. When port 2 to dash is short circuit, that is V2 is 0. We are getting the D matrix and uh, substitute that we, I1 value in equation 1, we are getting B value. And A, B, C, D matrix is nothing but 3, 70, 1 by 5 and 1 by 5. So this is the, so this is, these are all the Z parameters, Y parameters and H parameters and A, B, C, D parameters for a given electrical network. So thank you. To see this video, please subscribe DBS Talks.